Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Comic Vantage. So today, let's see, we've got a stack of packages, we've got a cup of coffee, and we've got scissors and X-Acto blade. That can only mean one thing, mailbag day. That is right, we have a nice stack of packages here to open for mailbag day. Always a lot of fun stuff in here. Stuff I usually don't even remember buying is in here. Uh, so... Uh, let's get started, because there's a lot of stuff to get opening. Okay, I'm just going to put the stack over here. And first up, we're going to start with this, because like always, I have, or not like always, but recently I have been buying a lot of action figures and toys and whatnot, and I've been opening them on mailbag day. So let's not change that, shall we? So let's get to opening this one. This is a package that came from Walmart. Now the last package I got from Walmart was a little on the disappointing side. It uh, was a battle cat and it was all bent to nothingness. Oh, they actually packed this really well this time around. Look at that. Everything looks good. Oh, we have two things in there. Okay. Let's start with the first item. Let us see what is in here. And survey says, oh, <laughs> what a Saj. Ventress from the new Black Series, or not the new Black Series, but a new figure for the Black Series line. I love Ventress. I think she is one of the greatest Star Wars characters ever created. Absolutely adore her. I hope to see more of her in the future. Even though she did get killed off in a book. But this is still, wow, this is so neat. I've seen a lot of these Black Series figures where usually the sculpt is really nice, but the face isn't too accurate. So you can actually buy replacement heads, more cartoon accurate. I think I might do this with her. I also have a Sabine uh, that I'm definitely going to replace the head on because it looks nothing like Sabine, although the sculpt on the body is absolutely amazing. Wow, this is cool. I cannot wait to get that hung up on my wall. All right, the second thing in this box. Oh, this is a good one. And we have a Cobra Fang. Yes, that is right. We have one of the retro series Cobra Fangs. A lot of these have been coming out of Walmart recently. Uh, just so cool. They're pretty much the original sculpt of the vehicle with a re-sculpted figure. Uh, I picked up the Hiss recently as well. I've been collecting a lot of the figures. I have a Baroness, uh, Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes hanging up on the wall. They're just absolutely amazing. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to put that up for display. Man, I love it. All right, let's get to opening the uh, or the comic books now. Ooh, comic books. And like always, we start the video off with a package of shame. Oh, look at this. Do you see that little nice little crease right there? Oh, it gets better. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is just straight out of a manila envelope. with a recycled Amazon mailer that actually has no protection whatsoever. I mean, there's no cardboard, there's no backboard. Oh, oh, wait, 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 there's more. There's no bag and board. Oh, and look what was in there. Oh, can you believe that? These uh, Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X stories have been getting really, really hot recently. Which is kind of funny because for years I would pick up entire runs out of quarter bins. Yes, quarter bins back in the day uh, as well as now. I mean, up until a year ago, I was finding these in the dollar bins. Man, this thing is just beat, beat, beat to hell and back. I did get a refund for it, so that's why it's just kind of here now. Yay, package of shame. All right, let's get to the good stuff. All right. Nice. Let's see what we got here. This feels well packed. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry for that little rough cut there. Had a little technical difficulty. And I'm still opening this package. Oh. It's actually a really nice mailer. I thought it was just packed in cardboard. Anyway, the technical difficulty was that I smacked the crap out of my camera. <laughs> it's 
sort of went popping over to the side. So, all right, man, even four pieces of cardboard to protect this book. What is this book anyway? Let's find out, shall we? Must be careful with the exacto blade. All right, let's see. What are you? You are. Patoo! Oh, okay. A cane in the last Padawan, and that is the Scotty Young cover. Wow, when did I get this? These books have blown up recently. Um, hold on, where's my. <laughs> oh. March 12th of 2020. I bought this a year and three months ago. So that means I paid probably four bucks for it. For a first appearance of Sabine Wren, I pay four dollars. Actually, I don't know how well the Scotty Young covers are doing. I know the, the rest are doing really well. Uh, the second and Charles Darth Vader cover is finally starting to go up in price because that one is just absolutely amazing. I don't know why it isn't worth more. Mm. Mm-hmm. Coffee. So good. Mm-hmm. Wow, now that's a way to start a mailbag day. Okay. Awesome. Let's see what else we got. Shall we? Man. Some good pack jobs after that utter fail. That was the package of shame. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. I love watching videos now or seeing people posting on Instagram calling these packages packages of shame. <laughs> I love that. It's uh, it's funny too that uh, every so often when I buy a book on eBay, uh, someone will recognize who who bought the book from them. And uh, I'll either get a message or they'll leave a feedback that says, I hope I don't get a package of shame on this. <laughs> well, it's kind of nice that's gotten out there. But seriously, shame on you. Hold on, I'm starting to think about calling all medium mail packages packages of shame and calling out those sellers. Jeez. Everybody knows my feelings on medium mail. All right, let's see. What is this book? You are... Oh, Wonder Woman 67 in chains. I absolutely adore this cover. This is a Brian Boland cover, if I'm not mistaken. I bought that strictly for a cover grab. Um, I found that on Instagram. Check the date on that one. Oh, I ripped off the label on that one. It must have been six or eight months ago, maybe even longer that I bought this. I just love mailbag days. It's like Christmas here. All right, what else we got now? This one's really heavy. Either there's uh, totally multiple books in here. Which ones are they? Wow, they really packed this well, too. Okay. like three or four books in there. Come on. The right tool for the job. I am seriously curious. What did I buy? Oh, check that out. Curse words, issue number one. The different incentive covers. That is awesome. The Savage Dragon cover, the foil cover, and the regular cover. Awesome. I love Curse Words. This was such a great series. If you, if anybody out there has not read this, I would totally recommend picking it up. Uh, you can tell that when you're reading it that Charles Soule just had a blast writing it because it's so much fun. 
And that's actually very, very cool. I am happy to have those. I can't even tell you when I bought those either, because, wow, the series has been around quite a bit. Okay, here's our next book. And you are... Batch Babe, issue number two. This is an Adam Hughes cover. Uh, this is from Spoof Comics way back in the 90s. They did a whole line of kind of these spoof comics where they did like Wolver Broad and Bat Babe. And they had some really, really, really hot up-and-coming artists do their covers, like Jim Giant and Adam Hughes. He did a lot of indie books back in the day. Most people don't realize that. Uh, you know, he got his big start working on uh, doing Ghost for Dark Horse Comics. Uh, that really is what launched his career. Oh, awesome. This is so cool. All right. Next up. See the date on this one. 4-16-2019. <laughs> oh, God. 2009. This is two years this has been sitting in the closet. I cannot, I just, I don't even know what's happening right now. So, I don't, this could be anything. This could be utter crap, or this could be some serious spec that has shot up in price. I have no idea. Okay. What is this? Let's find out. Hey, it's popped up. Wildcats, issue number, why did I buy a Wildcats issue one? Really? Oh, there's another book in there. Okay, it's a Wildcat issue number 12. <laughs> Granted, I love some 90s image. I have no idea why I bought this. A Wildcat issue number one is one of those books that I keep around by like the dozen. And issue 12. What is up with issue 12? I have no clue. Anyway, I mean, it's still neat to have. It's really cool Jim Lee work. Okay, there we go. Only three packages left. Let's hope we don't disappoint. Now this one here, I actually know what's in it. Because I ordered it very recently. And it just showed up. And it comes from our friends at Golden Apple Comics. Yeah, what's the best way to tackle this? Because wow, they tape this up really well. And then they stuck it in an envelope which sticks to everything. Oh. Alright. I'm just gonna take it off the top. Issue number one, the Peach Momoko incentive cover. I believe this was a one in 25. Uh, I had to own this book because it just sounded way too amazing. I'm definitely going to read this. Uh, apparently there's like an underground sort of televised murder ring that's being uh, financed by you know, cryptocurrency, and they just get people, like, in dungeons and stuff and kill them. So, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that's the gist of it, so I cannot wait to read this. It totally sounds up my alley. And that cover. I had to have this cover. So good. All right. Let's see. What is next? stickers holding the package together. You don't see this very often. I actually have a roll of these myself that they used to put on packages for priority mail. Okay. What are you? You are Transformers issue number eight. Yes. This is awesome. 
This is the first appearance of the Dinobots and another book that's been picking up steam recently. So I have to own about 15 copies of this before I am happy. So good. Hey, Grimlock King. Anyway, there we go. That's my fun for the day. Last package. We can seal up our Exacto Blade. Drink some more coffee. Okay. Wow, this person knows how to protect a package. Come on. Okay, I guess we will. I don't even know. Wait a second, where's the back? There we go. Beautiful. And the last package for mailbag day, episode number 43, is. Whoa, look at that! Star Wars Kane. Okay, we started the episode with Star Wars Kane, and we're ending it with Star Wars Kane. And the first one that we showed was the first cameo appearance of Sabine Wren. This is the first full appearance of Sabine Wren. When did I buy this book? This is the money book right here. Um, I think this person's kind enough to leave an invoice in the packing, packing slip date. If you can read that. There it is, 328 of 2020. One year, two months ago. That means I paid 10 bucks. Oh, hold on, it tells me, and my invoice. No, it doesn't. Just back, it's like no invoice. So I think I paid about 10 bucks for this book. Maybe $12 at the most back then. <laughs> oh, this thing is gorgeous. I would think if I sent that to CGC, I'd probably, looking at some of the spine, I think I would probably get a 9.4, maybe a 9.6 if I pushed it. Oh, so exciting. Oh, that's amazing. All right, so let's see what we got. We got some Dinobots. We got some Red Room. We got some random Wildcats. <laughs> Bat bait. Not really bunch of curse words. I love this series. Awesome Wonder Woman cover. There's our Kanan number one. Sabine, another one of my favorite characters to ever, ever come out of the Star Wars universe. And we got some Weapon X package of shame over there. Oh, hold on. How can we forget Ventress? And the Cobra Fang. I mean, look at that. I don't even know where to put all this stuff. I just uh, amazingness in today's mailbag day. This is so cool. Wow. Ta -da. The thing is, I have a copy of each one of these already in my personal collection. So these are going to get sold off or put in mystery boxes or something. I don't know what. I actually have this right here. Uh, I have one that's actually signed. So really excited by that. Anyway, so cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my mailbag day. Uh, you guys are amazing. I love you all out there. To my current subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. To my channel members, you guys are amazing. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the little CV right there. There's a little CV. And uh, make sure you hit the little bell up top so you get all my awesome notifications. Because i got so much cool stuff coming out. Uh, if you're not a member of my Comic Vantage Behind the Scenes Facebook group, please join up. I put most of my really cool information there, especially when I have new products coming from my website. And I have a few huge announcements coming in the next month. Uh, at least three really, really, really giant announcements. So, thank you for watching, guys. And like always, take it easy.